In this video, we are going to set up your tracking on Shopify and your URL parameters in your ad account. So first, from your account settings, you're going to come over to integrations. Now from here, you're going to click on connect to connect to your Facebook account. Now, you're just going to sign into your Facebook account, click continue, make sure that the toggles are selected as yes, and then click on done. From here, once your account is connected, this will connect any ad accounts that are connected to your account with your business manager. Now from here, you're going to click on home. And you're going to click on the account to set it up. Currently, we already have an account set up, but from here, you're going to click on connect and then select ad account. Now choose the ad account that you would like to connect. Once that's connected, we're going to start setting up the tracking. To start setting this up, we're going to currently set ours up on Shopify, which is currently the only platform that is able to be integrated with tracking conversions. Now to set this up, we're gonna copy this script and then go over to Shopify. Now, once the script has been copied, we're gonna click on online store, themes, and then we're gonna click on actions and then edit code. Now from here, you're gonna come over to your theme.liquid and you're going to come down to the very bottom, right above the body script and paste that code and then click on save. Then from here, you're gonna come back over to search, scroll down and find the second piece of code that will track conversions. So you're gonna come over back over to Shopify, come down to settings, come over to check, checkout, and then scroll to the very bottom. Now from here, you're just going to paste this into the order status page and click on save. Now, once this tracking is set up, you're gonna to wanna to come back to search and we're gonna be setting up the URL parameters. So you're gonna to wanna to come over to the performance dashboard and click on generate Facebook UTM. Now from here, you're just gonna to wanna to type in your home URL and then we're gonna just be using this bottom UTM source down here. Now, once you hit copy, you're gonna to wanna to come back to your ads. And to place this, if you are using the current create ad format, you are simply just going to want to go to the very bottom and place it into the URL parameters. Now, if you are using a use existing post format, you are still just going to want to go down to the very bottom and place this in. Now you're going to want to make sure that this URL parameter is placed on every single new ad or else they will not track. Now, another thing to mention is if you are currently using the create ad format and you are looking to switch it to a use existing post, but you have the URL parameter at the bottom, as you can see here, if I publish this ad in create ad and the URL parameter is still at the bottom, but if you're to switch it to a use existing post, that URL parameter will disappear. So you will have to replace it. So it is good to know that if you are going to use create ad, that you should likely stick with create ad and not change it after placing the URL parameter in. But if you do, you can simply just replace the URL parameter. So once that's done and you make sure that you're putting these URL parameters on every single ad, all of your tracking will currently be set up. Now, another simple way to make sure that all URL parameters are currently installed correctly is by coming up to your filters and making sure that all of your active filters are currently on and making sure that none of your campaigns or ad sets are selected and that you are on all active ads. And then coming over to your customize columns, and then typing in URL parameter. Now from here, we can just drag the URL parameters open. And as we can see, all normal UTMs are currently added and as well with all surge UTMs are currently added. And now you can scroll through all of your active ads. And if any of them do not have the URL parameters attached, you can simply edit the ad and add them on.